Oh, cut me a break. You want it. I'm saying here it is. Who cares about being used at a time like this? I do. Yeah, I guess you can dish it out, but you can't take it, huh? Well, fine. That's fine. But trust me on this one. You just passed up the most interesting fuck of your life. <laughs> that may be. But also may be that I prefer to sleep with one person at a time. Maybe I simply want to preserve as one of the ground rules of the increasingly neurotic relationship we seem to have established between us, that if I ever do take you to bed, it will be under the condition that Andrew does not come along. Andrew? Fuck Andrew. You know I'm tired of hearing about Andrew? What happened? You break your heart, so now you're bitter? Oh, you poor thing. Oh, now you want to seduce his best friend. Get back at him. Is that it? That's the oldest trick in the book. That's old. You almost fell for it. What do you think you're doing? You, you think you're going to prove something. All this proves is what I suspected from the start. That you're nothing but bad news. I've given you technique. All night, Edward. It hasn't gotten either of us anywhere. But the gig is up. Look, I don't know what's bugging you. There's time to get over it. You want to do it or not? Hmm? This is your last shot. My last shot? Yeah. It's your final offer. So, what's it gonna be? Well, since you put it that way. Thank you very much, but since you put it that way, I'm going to have to decline your generous offer. <laughs> Suit yourself. Please don't take this wrong. I just don't like being used. Come here, break. You want it? I'm saying here it is. I mean, who cares about being used at a time like this? I do. Oh, so you can dish it, but you can't take it. That's fine. No, no, that's fine. But trust me when I tell you this, you just passed up the most interesting fuck of your life. That may be. But it also may be that I prefer sleeping with one person at a time. Maybe I simply want to preserve as one of the ground rules of the increasingly neurotic relationship we seem to have established between us, that if I ever do take you to bed, it'll be on the condition that Andrew doesn't come along. All right, Andrew, just fuck Andrew. I'm so tired of talking about Andrew. Andrew? What? What did you say to him? What? Oh, no. When I got here, you said you talked to him. What did you say? I said I liked you. That's all. That's all? Yeah. Well, I mean, no, I mean, of course we talked about other things, but it wasn't any, it wasn't anything, it, uh, it wasn't. Why are you getting so nervous? I'm not getting nervous. I'm trying to remember the conversation. He said, Look, he told me he wanted to ask you out. And I said, I thought that would be okay. I thought it seemed like you might need some. I, I said, I thought you seemed like you might need some. Look, I thought you were kind of getting a crush on me. So I thought it'd be good for you if you... I thought it'd be good for you. You gave me to him. No, that's not what I did. What the fuck would you call it? Here, do you? Just go ahead and squander yourself. This is enough for you? The shoes, the dress, the fancy dinners. This is enough for you? That's all you want? That's it? No. No, I, I don't want to do this. I don't, I don't want him. If you don't want me to do this, then I won't do it. I... Why are you yelling at me? A minute ago, you were kissing me, and you meant it. You meant it. So why are you yelling at me? What the fuck is going on here? This gonna work. There's a difference between us. An abyss. Not a crevice. Not a difference of opinion. An abyss. Void. 
a nightmare to negotiate with you, Georgie. You're not exactly the calmest person I've ever met. You know what I'm talking about. Who do you think you'd take this out on? I wouldn't. Are you kidding? It's inevitable with you, Georgie. There's no peace in you. Life is not this long scream of rage. You're better than this, Georgie. Oh, I think you know who I am. Well, of course I know who you are. What are you doing here? No, what are you doing here? I live here. You know what I mean. You and I have never met, and yet you are wrecking havoc in my life. At first, I admired Andrew's interest in your welfare. Not only do I listen to him talk about you incessantly, every time I am over here, I am bombarded by you. When you come in at night, we hear your little heels clicking on the ceiling. We hear you when you brush your teeth, and even on certain occasions and certain nights, I swear I can hear you undress. I am not enjoying this. I'm finding that not only am I sleeping with one person, now I'm sleeping with two people, Andrew and yourself. Now look, I don't know what went on between you and Andrew, but- That's not all. Excuse me, but clearly that is not the case. And I want you out of my life. Where am I supposed to go? I don't care. Listen, I'm just really not up for this right now, okay? So can we chill out for a minute? Do you want a cup of tea or something? Andrew? What did you say, Dan? What? Oh no. When I got here, you said you talked to him, so what did you say? I said I like you. That was all. Yeah, that was all I said. Yes. I mean I mean no, we we, we talked about other things, but it wasn't anything. Why are you getting nervous? I'm trying to have a conversation. He, he he said he wanted to ask you out, huh? And I, I I said I thought that'd be a good idea. I told him you might be what? Well, I told him I thought you might need someone in your life. It seems. Look, I I thought you were getting a kind of crush on me. So it might be good for you if you found you someone. Else. To him. No, it's not what I did. What the fuck would you call it? Well, if he wouldn't sleep with you, then. You really must have made an impression on him. I know you made an impression on Andrew. I don't know. About Please, could you not? I, I really prefer not to talk to you about this, but I don't know who else to talk to. Hey. I'm not crying. It's just I can't talk to my family about this. He never liked Andrew. Wasn't good enough. He's the best man I ever met. He makes me my best self. How can I tell them they were right? They're not. Oh, I know. It's just... I'm confused. Yeah. Well, me too gonna go ahead and squander yourself. This is enough for you. The shoes, the dress, the fancy dinner. That's what you want, is that it? No. No! I don't want this! I don't want him! If you don't want me to do this, I won't do it, Andrew! I mean, God, a minute ago you were kissing me and you meant it! I mean, you meant it! And now you're yelling at me? I mean, what the fuck is going on here? It would never work. We are too different. There is an abyss between us. You know, I listen to you speak and I feel battered. Life doesn't have to be this long scream of rage, Georgie. You're better than that. I made you better than that. What? I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. You made me better. You made me. Better. Did you actually just say that? Please don't go off again. I cannot take any more of this. Better anymore. I will be better. I will be as bad as I want to be. I mean, why the fuck didn't you just leave me wherever I was? At least then I was happy. 